But yeah, whatever really stood out really stood out to me though. Um, I beg you to avoid the evil things your bodies want to do that fight against your soul. So that's kind of like a scripture that kind of um, reveals something to me. Just when I was reading Michelle earlier, I actually read it again after the after just by myself, and I actually, you know. Um, I had a whole conversation with the girls, you know, just me talking, you know, just, you know what I'm saying? It was in for real, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just, you know, um, kind of sparked, like, something in my mind, like, about me and her and stuff. It got all of a sudden, it got all of a sudden again. But, um, yeah, I gotta make sure I put my deodorant on, I ain't put deodorant on yet. I ain't put no, I ain't put no... No oil on my skin, nothing like that either. I was just like, I'm saying that's how I'm in the story. But, um, yeah, so following along, that was um, about two two sections above, but might have been two more sections. And one was when I read, I think it was yesterday, the day before, but follow Christ's example. Hmm. That's crazy. If you really listen to this, I don't even know how this is Christ's example. I'm going to keep reading. I just saw this. The first thing I saw was like, whoa. But um, it says, look this. Um, Slaves, yield to the authority of your masters with all respect. Do not only, no, not only those who are good and kind, but also those who are dishonest. A person might have to suffer even when it is unfair. But if he thinks of God and can stand the pain, God is pleased. If you are beaten for doing wrong, there is no reason to praise you for being patient in your punishment. Really? But if you suffer for doing good and you are patient, then God is pleased. This is what you are called to do. Because Christ suffered for you and gave you an example to follow. So you should do as he did. Hmm. He had never sinned and he had never lied. Isaiah 53.9 People insulted Christ, but he did not insult them in return. Christ suffered because, no, Christ suffered, but he did not threaten. <clears throat> he let God, the one who judges rightly, take care of him. Christ carried our sins in his body on the cross so we would stop living for sin and start living for what is right. And you are healed because of his wounds. You were like sheep. That wanted, that wandered away, but now you have come back to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. And then it goes into husbands and wives. In the same way, wives should yield. Oh, in the same way, you wives should yield to your husbands. Then, if some husbands do not obey God's teaching. They will be persuaded to believe without anyone's saying a word to them. They will be persuaded by the way their wives live. Your husbands will see the pure lives you live with your respect for God. And, it's, and it is not fancy hair, gold jewelry, or fine clothes that should make you beautiful. Know your beauty should come from within you. I'm going to just stop at that and actually do something else. We read this already, but I'm going to do something real quick. Mm -hmm. I just thought of something. But, um, I'm, I'm going to just pause this actually real quick. I probably, I probably just cut it off in a little bit, but I might pause it for a second, though.
And it's like I said, I've been like, I've been reading to the girl a lot. And I've been just talking to the girl a lot today about certain stuff. I mean, like, I just want to read this part to her, like, specifically. You know, I read that, but I just read to you. That's why I stopped you. So I wanted to read that to her. But pretty much, like, for the most part, like, you know, I read it again. Like, I like this a lot. You know, like, in the same way, you wives should yield to your husbands. Then if, then, <clears throat> then if some husbands do not obey God's teaching, they will be persuaded to believe without anyone saying a word to them. They will be persuaded by the way their wives live. Your husbands will see the pure lives you live with your respect for God. It is not fancy hair, gold jewelry, or fine clothes that should make you beautiful. No, your beauty should come from within. So that's my favorite part. You know, your husband will see the pure lives you live with the respect for God. You know, so and we already read the rest of even this one, so um, I like the rest of it, honestly, so um, but I, I'm gonna come stop there, you know, just to kinda um, let that kinda resonate real powerful with y'all because I think it's like really kinda um, it's a real strong message just for me personally, so hopefully y'all can kind of um, vibe out with me for a little bit, you know, just, you can just think about that for a little bit, you know, Gee, I'm just kind of like chilling today, so, in a real weird type of sense, but, I uh, kind of just chilling, so I'm actually trying to get to doing this, What's it called? I'm posting something, but <clears throat> I really doubt I will even post it, but <clears throat> not being very patient right now, I don't really feel like very listening, you know. Listening to my videos that much right now. Like, not much at all. So I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna work on doing one, but no, if anything, one one at a time, you know, but I'm gonna work on doing one. At least at least get one, you know, posted right now real quick. So why?